India is getting ready for the third flight of the small satellite launch vehicle with an experimental earth imaging satellite called EOS-8. I have with me Dr. M. Sankaran, the director of the UR Rao Satellite Center, which has developed this very unique experimental satellite, which is going to test several technologies. Uh, what is special about this uh, Microsat EOS-8, which will be launched on the third developmental flight of uh, the small satellite launch vehicle, Dr. Sankar? Uh, this uh, EOS-8 is going to be uh, the trailblazer for uh, future microsatellites of ISRO. We are uh, not only uh, deploying three new payloads on board this satellite, we are also testing about 18 new technologies on the bus systems to improve the efficiency of our uh, spacecraft bus uh, for this microsatellite so that when uh, we are going to make future microsatellites, they will be more efficient in, in many ways, uh, the power generation to the data handling to the, the mass of the system itself. Many things are going to be improved. So I can say that about 18 new technologies on the bus and the three new payloads are flying. What, what is special about the payloads? You have very, very, very interesting three in, in short. Uh, the first payload is a, a IR imaging payload, which is, which is infrared, infrared, which is uh, going to image in both medium wave and uh, long wave which is around 5 micron and 11 micron wavelength. This is going to be first of uh, ISRO's uh, LWIR, that is Long Wave Infrared uh, Imager. We tried to do it earlier in Microsat 1A, and this is going to be the uh, next flight. We are trying this uh, when this is successful. The second payload is the GNSS R payload. What is GNSS? GNSS is a Global Navigation Satellite uh, System. It means it is like our GPS, Navic, uh, Bidu, or um, Galileo. This all these navigation satellites are called GNSS satellites. Now uh, we are going to use the signals beamed down by all these uh, navigation satellites, and the reflection of this light, this uh, microwave from the surface of the Earth, is going to get us lot of information about where they are passed through and what they hit and return back. So instead of illuminating with sun and are illuminating with our own radar signal, GNSSR is a new revolutionary uh, remote sensing technique which is evolving around the world. So this payload is uh, is again a pathfinder for us for future all uh, uh, GNSS based remote sensing. So it will be able to give us uh, structure of the earth and deformation of the earth and it will be able to penetrate foliage so give us a better understanding of the earth uh, surface. It will have definitely uh, better uh, visibility of things which are not straight away there, right on top. It can even uh, do soil moisture measurement. There are a number of applications uh, that have been lined up on this. Once we have this uh, spacecraft up in orbit and uh, test it for a few days, we'll be able to give more details on what are all the new... And, and what is the third? Third is uh, uh, silicon carbide based uh, UV dosimeter, which is uh, going to be um, safety gadget for the astronauts uh, in the Gaganyaan mission. So the newly developed uh, this dosimeter is getting tested in this mission before uh, flight in uh, Gaganyaan. So that is a new one. Are you worried that you are flying a new experimental uh, microsat on a developmental flight of the small satellite launch vehicle? Uh, SSL, we, we no longer consider it as a, uh, any risk. It, is, uh, it has been proved even in the first flight, uh, it was a logical error which uh, created the problem. SSL, we, we don't have a doubt. But since it is a developmental flight, we are using this opportunity to test all these uh, 18 odd new technologies and three new payloads. So we don't see any major risk in this. So SSLV and Microsat will open a new domain for India because there may be huge requirements of microsats for earth imaging and same thing for uh, the small satellite to launch smaller satellite. Yes, as I already mentioned, microsat 2C, which is EOS 08, is going to be the future uh, torch bearer for all microsats 
class of satellite that india needs we our assessment is india needs something like a few hundred of this kind of satellites to meet the various application requirement now we are making it in all these new developments such that these uh, satellites become very efficient and easily realizable that is what is going to be done and some of this would obviously be transferred to the industry for production yeah when we are talking about hundreds of satellite obviously these are not going to be uh, realized within isro we will uh, get these things done out, uh, outside through industry towards that only all this effort is going up thanks a lot for speaking to me dr sankaran so that was dr sankaran telling us how excited he is about the new mission which will be launched on the small satellite launch vehicle an important mission for india both for the rocket and for the satellite and both of them then aiming to go to the industry we camera person kumar at the ur rao satellite center in bangalore palav bagla for ndtv